Following breaking news this morning in Norman, an apartment fire and uh, Chris Gilmore is there at the scene for us. This apartment houses students there that go to OU. This is a rude wake up call live this morning. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Robin Lacey. This is a college uh, apartment complex populated by a lot of students. They were up late studying and they woke up to this. You can still see a lot of the fire being taken care of right now by Norman Fire. We saw a lot of ambulances on scene as well. While we're out here, I've been talking to a lot of the student residents here who are very shocked. They ran outside and just the clothes they had on and blankets. One of them right here with me is uh, Rohan Muhammad. He's a junior at OU. He said he was studying on the third floor of the building that's most heavily damaged right now at the center of that fire. Rohan, what was it like up there? Um, I didn't actually feel a lot of the temperature, but um, there was some heavy knocking on the door. And as soon as I got out, there were just flames everywhere. And, you know, the ceiling was falling off and there were just planks on the stairs. So there was really, at first seemed like there was no way out of it, but it's just, you just had to guide your way through it to, you know, and I'm glad I was able to make it out. And very lucky that you were awake studying at 3 a.m. It was a late night for you, right? Uh, yeah, I consider myself really lucky, and um, I hope that everybody else that was not awake and studying or they were sleeping, they made it. Hopefully they made it. Okay, and you made it out very quickly. Like I said, guys, he's just wrapped in a blanket and the clothes he had on at the time. We are still waiting to get in contact with uh, the fire crews here at the co uh, college complex uh, to find out exactly the extent of any possible injuries or how they're doing. Uh, we'll get be sure to get you up to date as soon as we get that information. Reporting live and seeing on the story from the Commons, Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thank you. We are following breaking news, as we said, in Norman, an apartment fire where several OU students live. Let's go live. This is just southeast of the campus, the Commons apartment. Chris Chris Gilmore is there. Chris, there were some dramatic moments escaping this fire. Lots of fire, lots of smoke still here on scene. The fire chief here tells us that it is contained, though. Lots of residents here in the apartment complex parking lot shaking right now. I'm here with one of them, Dean Ramsey. He lived on or lives on the first floor. Dean, go ahead and come in here and tell us about uh, what you saw or heard when you exited your apartment. Uh, well, I was, I was still awake. My fiance was asleep. Our neighbor just got home, banged on our door like, like there was a fire, and uh, woke us up. I grabbed her, grabbed my wallet, my keys, ran outside, and uh, as we were leaving, it just boom and. Right. And, and Robin, we understand that there was one person injured, according to the fire chief in this, and it was a case of a person on the third floor jumping from the balcony. Dean tells me you you saw that happen. Yeah, I, I was getting my fiance out, and I saw the just a flash of motion fall. And all of a sudden, three or four different paramedics, police were running over to him, picked him up, brought him over to the median. He was, looked like he was out of breath. They were pulling clothes off him. And but he seemed awake and alert, so. Right, okay. okay. Thank you, Dean. Now, the damage is pretty extensive to the apartment complex building here behind me. Fire chief on scene told me that uh, there are 24 units affected, all of them pretty badly damaged. Dean here hasn't been able to go back in his apartment since this fire started right around three o'clock this morning. But the good news is only one injury to report and that person, according to Dean and the fire chief, were conscious and speaking upon uh, their departure from the complex. So we'll be continue to update you guys on this as this story continues to develop here on the scene on the story live from the Commons Apartments. Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thank you. All right, it is 545. We've been following this breaking news in Norman, an apartment fire where a lot of students had to be evacuated. It's southeast of the campus, the Commons Apartment. Chris Gilmore live on the scene. Chris, we hear someone had to jump out of the third story window for safety. That's right, Rob and Lacey. The good news, though, is that that person, according to the chief and people who saw what happened, say that he was up and conscious when Emstat took him away to the nearby hospital. Now, the really serious thing going on behind me here is still the mop up situation they have. Fire crews are still spraying water on top of that fire you see behind me. It affected 24 units, eight units per floor, three floors affected. Now, I spoke to several residents here this morning who tell me that it was just an unimaginable fire completely. Uh, taking over the building, building O here at the Commons Apartments. This is an apartment complex that's populated uh, majorly by a lot of college students. Some of them were up studying and some of them were asleep. A lot of them say smoke alarms were going off 
but uh, others say that they were alerted by people banging on their door and they were only able to get out with the clothes they had on their back for the most part. Good news again, only one person injured. We'll continue to bring you updates on this. Reporting live and seen on the story from the Commons, Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thank you. We are following breaking news in Norman. The Commons on Oak Tree Apartments caught fire overnight. Chris Gilmore live on the scene. This was a dramatic rescue for some folks and life-saving decisions even to jump out of a third story window. Chris, good morning. Yeah, we spoke earlier to some people who saw it happen. They're all very shaken and rattled cold as they wait out in the parking lot right now with no place to go. The building that it affected, Building O right here behind me, still smoking. As you can see, fire crews still have their ladders up attacking this fire in terms of the mop-up phase. Uh, right now, I can tell you there were 24 units affected, eight units per floor, and you can imagine how many multiple people were inside every one of those units. It's really kind of miraculous that only one person was injured, and on top of that, one that one person was conscious and speaking to paramedics when MSTAT took them away to a nearby hospital. Uh, so right now, fire crews are still uh, determining where this started because it affected three different floors, all of them equally burned. And uh, what may have caused this fire. So there's still a lot of investigating to do. The good news, though, is uh, there are Red Cross crews on scene helping those people who are displaced now because a lot of the people we spoke to earlier this morning don't have an apartment to go back to. So we hope they have a warm place to stay for the night. We'll bring you updates on that as well. Reporting live on scene, all the story from the comments. Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thank you so much. Breaking news, we have brand new video just coming in of this huge apartment fire in Norman at the Common Oaks, uh, Commons on Oak Tree. Yeah, we are getting a clear picture of the commotion that was going on about 3 o'clock this morning for some OU students. Chris Gilmore with the pictures and the story of the, some folks who had to make daring uh, rescues and jumps for safety out there. Chris, good morning. Unbelievable fire, unbelievable stories from people here in the parking lot. I just spoke to another group of residents who are leaving for the night because an adjacent building, Building N, next to Building O, where the fire started here behind me, is not cleared yet. According to the fire marshal, they're not letting people inside. According to the fire chief I just spoke with, not because of any damage, but they want to make sure that there's not any hot spots that may have transferred from that original fire, just as a safety precaution. So they'll be cleared later this morning, and those residents will be able to get back inside. But as I mentioned earlier, Red Cross is also now on scene. A lot of people I spoke to were worried because once they got out safely, they said, well, I don't know where I'm going to go sleep tonight. It's cold. They weren't able to get anything but shoes and a blanket to cover themselves. And so that's being taken care of, thankfully. Uh, but right now, fire does tell us that uh, the fire here at the Commons is completely contained and uh, they're just clearing things up right now. But it's been a wild night for them for sure. Reporting live on scene on the story from the Commons. Chris Gilmore, News 9. All right, Chris, thank you. Breaking news this morning in Norman, the Commons on Oak Tree Apartments caught fire overnight. Let's go to Chris Gilmore. This was a dramatic scene for so many people, a rude wake up call. Chris, it put a lot of folks in a panic. Good morning. Yeah, we showed you the crazy amount of damage this morning, but that was enough until we came to the other side of the building of the Commons Apartments here behind me. You see just the extent of that damage that that fire caused here at Building O. We talked to a lot of the residents here this morning, and they tried to put it into words, but this visual uh, is just overwhelming to see this morning. We uh, talked to fire crews and they said that there are 24 units affected, eight units per floor. And after looking at the extent of all this, it's uh, I mentioned earlier miraculous that only one person was injured. That person jumping from a third story window. We saw that window just a few minutes ago. We'll be sure to get you some shots of that later this morning. But that person was taken away by MSTAT, conscious and talking to paramedics while all that was going on. Uh, Red Cross was on scene here earlier, making sure that the people who were affected by this have a place to stay. You can see by the images we're showing you this morning that there's no one that's going to be able to live in this apartment building for a very long time. It's most likely going to have to get demolished. Fire crews called this a total loss. So uh, we'll be on scene here for a little while longer, getting some shots for you guys as uh, daylight approaches and uh, getting more information. But for now, on the scene, on the story here at the Commons Apartments in Norman, Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thank you so much. Just I mean, out of there, I just felt like I had two options, either jump from the balcony or either go into the flames and just go down the stairs. I'm terrified of fires and heights, and that's both of them right there. So, like, I, I just hope he's okay. Oh, bless his heart. One person injured after they jumped from their window to escape flames at a Norman apartment complex. It's been breaking news this morning. Chris Gilmore is on the scene. Let's go there right now. Chris, good morning. 
Yeah, another look at the building here behind me. You see why a lot of people might have been thinking about that option of jumping out of a window by the intense damage caused by these flames here behind me. That grass you see in the foreground is not water. That's blackened grass from the flames caused by this fire this morning and the entire side of building O here at the Commons Apartments just collapsed with damage and lots of blackened wood as well. A lot of the residents here will not have a home to come back to. We do know, according to fire crews, that this is still actively under investigation. As soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to update you. Reporting live on the scene on the story from the Commons in Norman, Chris Gilmore, News 9. Chris, thank you. 20 on the scene, on the story, News 9 starts now. And thanks for joining us today for News 9 at noon. I'm Alex Cameron. Happy Friday to you. An early morning fire destroyed the Commons apartments in Norman, meaning several residents are now homeless. News 9's Chris Gilmore was on the scene this morning and reports the fire was so intense, some residents only narrowly escaped. 24 units in this building up in flames this morning, according to fire crews. You see the damage here behind me to building O at the Commons in Norman. That is just a lot of fire to deal with for these crews, and they got it under control. This all started around 3 o'clock this morning. People living in building O at the Commons on Oak Tree started their Thursday morning with fire screams and banging on their doors. And I opened my room door and uh, my other two mates were running, roommates, and they were just yelling, running for the life and just telling me, hey, you know, run, run. Once OU junior Rohan Muhammad made it out of his third floor apartment, all he and others could do was watch the entire building go up in flames. It's gone. It's not, and it's, there's, I doubt there's anything in any of them that's recoverable. We talked about the size and severity of this fire. All three stories were up in flames. There is the third story window right there where fire crews tell us one person jumped to safety. It's all marked by a rope that aided them in their escape. All 24 units in the building caught fire. Red Cross crews were on hand to assist those who escaped with only the clothes on their backs. In the moment, I was just thinking of saving my life and just I grabbed my shoes and I ran. Even those I had in my hands, I didn't wear them. And all I, all I remember, there was just flames touching my body. It was just, it was just horrible. We've had a lot of direct contact with fire crews throughout the morning. They tell us the cause of this fire still under investigation. As soon as we get more information, we'll be sure to update you. Reporting on the scene, on the story from the Commons Apartments in Norman, Chris Gilmore, News 9. Mm. Oklahoma City firefighters battled the flames at a, a 